how to interpret six point Likert scale statistics this is what we are going to see in this tutorial so stay tuned till the end of the video so the first thing that we need to do is to code the different Likert scale anchors from one corresponding to strongly disagree two corresponding to disagree three corresponding to somewhat disagree for instance four corresponding to neutral etc depending on the content of the Likert scale as soon as you code them this way assigning the lower values to the negative labels and the higher values or uh, to the uh, positive labels like this you can proceed with uh, calculating the range the next step is to proceed to calculating the ranges for the lower limits and the upper limits so we take the highest code which is six and we subtract one from it which is five and then we take five and we divide it by six and the output is 0 0.83 uh, so this is the range or the interval that we have we can round it uh, here we can uh, say from one the like lowest uh, limit uh, to the highest limit uh, here we have 1.82 then disagree from 1.83 to 2.65 then for somewhat disagree we have this range from 2.66 to 3.48 then neutral we have 3.49 to 4.31 then somewhat agree we have 4.32 to 5.14 the last one starts with 5.15 and ends with the highest value which is uh, 6 so the mean as you know is the average of all values given in the data set and the mean is the sum of all values divided by the total number of values or occurrences for example we have four people each one is rating a statement from one to five given a different rating as you can see so we take the sum of all of these and we divide it by four and we get the weighted mean or the composite score or the summated mean or whatever it is called so this is the overall mean score and based on the ranges i explained above we get the interpretation for example from 1.0 to 1.82 this means the content of the liquid scale whatever it is uh, is it or like if it is uh, frequency percentage or uh, agreement etc then we have these intervals that i explained you can see them and you can report this uh, an epa and a table like this you put the number of the statements the statements the mean the standard deviation and you can rank these statements based on the mean and you give verbal interpretation based on the intervals we explained you can also sum all of these means and divide them by the number of statements so that they can give you the overall mean score and you can interpret it based on this uh, table so we can proceed to um the practical application of this example by the way the intervals were taken from this reference and we just proceed to spaces to uh, calculate once on spaces we have data view and variable view the data view we have the uh, columns and the rows for respondents and these are for the statements or the record scale items so suppose that the first respondent answered a question on six and the second one uh give for example five the third one give for example four on this item the second statement might have received for example two and uh, then on by the the other one three and then we have for example one so this is like uh different uh, rating of different statements so we need to go to the variable view and here i could just type item for example one and then item two and on the values i will just give the uh, codes to or the labels to the codes so we have one coded as strongly disagree then two coded as somewhat disagree for instance and three coded as disagree and four coded for instance as somewhat agree and five coded as agree and six so again analyze descriptive stats frequencies i move the two items and then go to statistics i will choose the mean the standard deviation 
and keep display frequency tables like this and click OK. And here are the results. You could see the mean here, uh, the mean is five for item one and two for item two. So here five, this is straightforward. We can easily say that most respondents uh, correspond to this mean. So that's easy to interpret. Uh, then we have the frequencies. Each one received one rating. This makes it uh, understandable. So this is in brief how we can go about interpreting and uh, analyzing first six point Likert scale and interpreting the results based on the mean score in addition to some frequencies and percentages. This is, this is how we can do it on a spaces. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon. Do not hesitate to like the video and subscribe. Bye for now.